It is coming up to ten minutes to nine. Alfie Bow, you know Alfie Bow, has performed on some of the most prestigious opera stages in the world. His latest album, though, is a bit different, and it takes a look at another genre, which is very close to his heart. Yes, we're talking classic rock songs, uh, but with a twist in his own style. He's with us this morning. We'll chat in a minute. Let's have a look back. Hello. Morning. morning. There you are, How just are you to guys? prove you're here and you I can speak. <laughs> uh, so, what do we? Just give us a little uh, a hint as to what this is. This is me trying to. This isn't me trying to be a rock star. This is me celebrating these beautiful songs and putting them with a symphony orchestra and a contemporary band to show that the two worlds are very close together. And don't have to collide, and they can collude. Absolutely. How about Absolutely. There you go. I, just I couldn't have put it better myself. That's very <laughs> clever, Charlie. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of um, Alfie's career highlights. We the spring, summer of fall All you gotta do is call And I'll be there Friend, you must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Ah, tu, palina luna perché sei tanto triste così. Tu vuoi soffrire. It's, like, it's a bit like a public transport film as well, isn't it? Because as you sing on a train, <laughs> sing on a bicycle... Yeah, is that I your thing? So it is. I like to travel while I'm singing. And <laughs> sing? Well, you, like did you have the, did you have the carriage minstrel. closed off when you did that singing on the train? Well, with me and, and about several camera guys. And the crew? Guys, yeah, but the no, crew. there were no regular no, passengers in, the, the, in the space? <laughs> no, no, just me. I always mm. think, though, Alfie, when you've got a voice like yours, are there times where randomly... You're in a place and you just, I don't know, in a happy moment or whatever, just sing. Yeah, I mean, last night I was in the hotel staying over in Manchester and, and people were coming up to me saying, will you sing? Will you sing us a song? And it was like, no, I'm OK, thank you. <laughs> but I do. But I that's do kind of under duress. That's almost yeah. like people... Are, but if you're, I don't know, happy moment and you're do just... you sing in the uh, shower? Like, you get up and sing in the shower, for so, example. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I love to sing, so I'm, I'm singing around the house all the time, and I wouldn't necessarily be in a restaurant and then one, oh, I feel like a song, I'm going to just blast one out. <laughs> I've got my starter yet. How can I pass the time? Let me sing it, you know. <laughs> I think I'll be all right if I was in a restaurant. I don't now, think many, okay many people could. <laughs> really but it is, it's nice. like it's a, it's a precious gift that you should get, and, you know, Thank it's you. your living, so you. you can't just hand it out willy-nilly, can you? No, I do love it. I do love to sing, and I, and I am always willing to... Give a song to anybody that wants one, you know. So if you, if I am at a party and they say give us a song, Alfie, I will do, you know. Let's talk about this this album, this uh, this <coughs> amalgamation, a collusion, I think. Collude, you, a collusion. A collusion where the worlds collide or collude. I don't collude. They do collude. They don't collide. There we go. Get it right. There you go. Uh -huh. Your thoughts, because I imagine you, you've all kind of always hankered for this kind of comp combination. Yeah, I mean, I I, I grew up listening to. Um, classic rock music from a very early age. And um, it was always, yeah, always a love of mine to try and bring the two worlds together because I went down the um, classical opera route. I always wanted to show people that these two worlds were very similar and very close connected, you know, that the, the symphonic sounds that classic rock can make is complementary to a symphonic orchestra or a, a, a composition, you know, something like that. So I wanted to put the two worlds together. Uh, people who know of our voices often say that heavy metal singers, particularly, some of them have extraordinary voices. <coughs> yeah. Forget about classifications, whether, whether they're trained or whatever, they just have extraordinary range and performance. Absolutely. And also, like, the heavy metal guitarist that... You know, like, I like um, look what you're doing there. Look, you can't stop yourself. I can't play guitar, but that's that's what I imagine <laughs> you're doing. Um, 
But, you know, it's like, you know, like Eddie Van Halen, for example, amazing virtuoso on the guitar. He did, he did a bit more than that. Yeah. But, um, but when you look at these violinists in symphony orchestras and they're doing all that, but a diff different angle, um, it's the same thing. You know? How many other instruments can you do? Can you do a in trombone? Person, do you mean impersonating? That, what, yeah. good. You can do the drums. And the harp? Yeah. I'm, I'm talented. Can I went to harp? college. <laughs> Look at that. Look. If anyone just, do you know what? If anyone just <laughs> switch their TV on just then, they would think, Alfie's he's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the songs you've picked, how did you get them? Because there are some songs which are so iconic. Yeah. And, you know, have these rousing choruses and they're anthemic. And <clears throat> it could be a risk to take these on. Yeah, I mean, there are, you know, you are always sort of focused on the, the, the original version. But I think if you approach it with an element of respect to the original, you know, and you're not going to, I'm not going to try and sound like John Bon Jovi or, you know, David Coverfield. I'm going to, I'm going to try and be me, put my own voice into that song and show the beauty of the, the love song that it is, you know. And, and, and then once you get the symphonic orchestration on top of that, it just, it just works. It just blends. It's like a little jigsaw that you're fitting in, in places. So I do bow down to those guys and I do respect the way that they did it and the way that they taught me in my youth to appreciate that music. You know, the, the song that I think a lot of people associate with you with, Bring Him Home... I've never heard of it. Sorry, which one's that? Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, I think for a lot of people, they think of you and they think of that song. From Les Mis, of yes, course. of course. Have you... You must be so conscious, for so many people, that song is like an almost instant tearjerker. For whatever reason, it could be yeah. for all sorts of reasons, personal reasons. Yeah. For uh, It is one of those songs. And I dare say that every <clears throat> time you sing it, and I dare say you sing it fairly regularly, yeah. it, you must look into the audience and just know that it hits a spot, doesn't it? There's something particular about that song. The minute that opening arpeggio starts off on the harp, um, mm -hmm. you know, it everybody takes an in intake of a breath. You can you know, sense you that. You can anyway. sense it. And it sets up this amazing atmosphere for you to deliver that song with the beauty that it deserves. And, and, and I love singing it, and it still affects me now. There are times when I get surprised about how affected I am by singing it, even though I've sung it a thousand times. Does it take you to places <clears throat> you know, of your own, in, in your own life? And... Yeah, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling you know, emotional or something like that myself, then, then it'll, it'll hit me harder. Um, and the, the, the wonderful thing about it is when do, people do come up to me and say, your song, Bring Him Home, which is lovely for them to say, because, you know, many people have sung it, but when they say, your song, Bring Him Home, has helped me through so many difficult times, you know, it's my grandfather's favourite song, it's my mother's favourite song, she passed away or whatever, and it's, it's so comforting to know that I'm doing something good, <laughs> you know, with, with, with my voice, so... Um, what's your plan next? Because you've got the album, are you still, you're still touring? I've finished my tour. Right. I was touring, uh, I came up here and played Manchester a couple of weeks ago, and I loved it. It's a beautiful sellout tour. Um, and uh, I've got a few more shows to do leading up to Christmas, a few things next year. And yeah, just keep ploughing ahead, singing my heart out, waiting you... till we can duet together, you know. You and Charlie? Well, either of you, really. I mean, He's your man. me and you, Charlie. What do you think? What will be the number? Oh, my goodness. It's got to be like a Hall & Oates number or something like that, hasn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. What made you think of I that? I don't know. It's two male singers, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been some others. Well... Simon and Garfunkel. Well, okay. They weren't bad. Yeah, they were all right. Go on, you start off then. Bross. 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 <laughs> When will I, will I be famous? I think we've just seen your... Can you uh, answer that? I don't. Can you, I can't you remember can, the lyrics. Seriously. I think we've just heard maybe your new genre album. Male the pop, The pop crossover There album. we go. There we go. Males, I'm going to get on to that. Hear Alfie sing. If we have more time on the programme, because we've only got 20 minutes <laughs> left, we could put that out as a question. What should <laughs> Alfie sing next? Let's do it. I could be a regular on your show. Every single week I could be here. Yeah, tell you what, these, this day and age, it would be lovely to have some singing on this programme. No. you Especially go. with your yeah. voice. It it's been lovely talking to you. It's lovely to see you. Nice, good to see you Thank as well. You. And I'm looking forward to the album, your album. Thank I'll, you. I'll let you guys get on with the paperwork after the All programme. Right. And the song <laughs> what do they call it? They call it a collab.
Yeah, I don't know. Isn't that the phrase that you use? A collab. You're full of it today, man, with all the little always. phrases. That's great. He's always. Uh, Alfie Bowe's new always. album, Colluding, Open Arms, <laughs> the symphonic <laughs> songbook, and his book, Face the Music, the book as well, and my story are both out there. You have to well. stay over that there. That works That's well the way it together. Works. That worked well. It is 8.59. You're watching Breakfast.